Hotep. Can you ask what Godzilla was? Pretty oh. sure this is Godzilla. Godzilla, radioactive dinosaur. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, this is Godzilla. Oh. Yeah. Godzilla. Nobody yeah. run though. <laughs> Who got to name all these places? Oh, Who's the, the first, first people who saw them. Do we know Way back, you know, when... So are we going up this chimney? Yeah, right now we're going up. I feel like Santa Claus. Meters per minute. <laughs> Should have left a bag of toys on the at the bottom. Yep, there's definitely some major venting. Yes, we can see the black smoke. That oh, is pretty awesome. It's so cool. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Video, you want to push in? No, I don't, but I will anyway. <laughs> Thanks, DJ. Are those there's two worms there, there already on the right hand side? Yeah. Yeah, it's those are two worms. <gasps> so cool. Hello. Video, let's come full wide. Yeah, it's pretty amazing to see that. Uh, so the black smoke for us will be uh, very toxic. You would die if you were around. But some life just managed oh, wow. to adapt and to live on that. Meters, so yeah. you can go it is step crazy. That down. So cool. So on the white thing that you see on the rock, it's actually bacterial mat. And it's... Uh, First, the primary producer of energy of this area. Cool. The bacteria? Yeah. So on the land, it's actually the plants. And on hydrothermal vents, it's the bacteria. And here you can see the tube worms. Cool. Does it go much higher up? Uh, yeah. Probably. It goes high. They it is called Godzilla. So those of you who are wondering what we're kind of looking at, right in front is what's called a black smoker. So a hydrothermal vent is essentially a fissure in the planet's surface, and there's geothermally heated water coming out of it, and they're only found near uh, volcanically active places, and so where tectonic plates are moving apart, etc. And these hydrothermal vents will form these black smokers. But there's also, and so the black smokers are iron sulfide, and the white smokers um, are barium, calcium, and silicon. But what we're looking at right now is a black smoker. Mm -hmm. Pauline? Yes. Miss Thornton's class at Cypress Woods High School is asking, has anyone been able to isolate and study the symbiotic bacteria inside the tube worms? Oh, they already, they are doing that, so I am not doing that because it's bacteria and it's too small for me. Uh, yeah, they are already trying to understand how it works, um, what the concentration, um, if the, for example, um, is the tube worm is born with the bacteria in it or is it collecting it from his environment. All of those questions are right now under study. And they also try to know if there is some different uh, species. Well, it's not called species, but let's say with species of different bacteria, um, depending on the worms, depending on the chimney, depending on the uh, con different concentration of material inside the chimney. So yes, there is a lot of work on that. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So it's pretty oh, exciting. Right this is like Canada's yeah. first like deep sea marine protected area. So Ocean Networks Canada okay. has been working pretty closely um, with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. So that's why when you're talking about sampling and Ian like made that clarification, there's like a lot of procedures in place to of make course. sure that things are done in a um, respectful way to conservation. This is definitely part of the reason that I'm here. I wanted to be able to see this for myself. I mean, through an ROV, through a cable, onto the control van, but this is amazing. Through the video router. Yeah, through the video, video router. And that too. <laughs> so thanks, Al. <laughs> thanks for setting this up. Yeah, you're welcome. What'd I do? <laughs> Everything. Just say yes. Yes. <laughs>